Hello, it's Finn, and today I thought I would show you how to do non-Euclidean geometry in Minecraft. So this is one of the uh, one of the applications of the beginning 1.8 snapshots. I'm not sure which snapshot it was that introduced this, but th the feature is smooth teleportation or smooth relative teleportation. So here, this is a here's an example of how this works. So I'm in this room, and I see there are two staircases. On the left, there's one that goes up. And on the right, there's one that goes down. So if I just follow this one down, I'm in this room, and I can just keep on following it down. And I think you get the point. This just goes on forever. And we can always do the same thing with the staircase that goes up, like this. And even if we put like an item, like if we put red sand right in the middle there, you look at it it'll still be there. Or if we put it right at the top of these stairs, now we walk up here and it's up there, or we can put it at the bottom of these stairs, like that. And then we walk down here and oh gosh, that was a, oh sorry, every once in a while that happens. The smooth teleportation isn't completely smooth, it's just a lot smoother than it was in a 1.7. So here, I will show you how to make this. So if we go out of here, you can see that there's this big structure. And there are basically three rooms. There's uh, this room, um, oops, this room, and this room. So they are all built identically, but you are ever only, like you're, you're always in this room. So the reason you have these two rooms is to, uh, is to, here I'll show you, when you're, um, when you're walking, like, down the stairs, like, right now, oops, well, yeah, as I said, the smooth teleportation isn't completely smooth, but I, I'm not looking at the room I was at just up there, but now I am. So it's, uh, it's right before it teleports you, you still want it to look like, um, you're going into the same room when you're not. So, uh, see if you like go up right now, it's not the same room, but right now it is. And uh, so the way you set this up with the command blocks is, wait, where did they go? Hmm, I've lost the command blocks. Oh, there they are. So I've got this kind of like three-dimensional axes cross thing of command blocks. And here I'll just, um, hmm, I, I don't want to have to break one, but I guess I, I'll just do that. So I'll copy all of this. So as you see in here, there's this redstone block, but it's, uh, it's constantly regenerating itself because there's this command block down here that says set block tilde, tilde one, tilde air, which makes uh, this air. And this is, um, is setting in the same position a redstone block. And because they're both being powered, they're constantly like going back and forth and resetting the redstone block. And so, um, and so that redstone block in the middle is constantly powering all of these blocks on the outside. And if you, if you see um, this block, and I think it's this block? Mm -hmm, I'm not sure. Two of these blocks power this whole structure. Like one of them is when you get to the top of the stairs, it'll teleport you. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. So if you look at my Y coordinate, which with the new uh, 1.8 uh, F3 layout, it's uh, it's the block, as you can see right here. Oh, sorry, I don't think you can see my mouse. But um, see how it's at 67? And then I go up, and it goes right back down to 67. That's one of those command boxes doing that. And if I go down here, it'll do that again. It'll teleport me right back down to 67. So that's what those command blocks are doing. And as you saw, there's this thing, too, which these two are, well, sorry, other two command blocks are powering. And it's pretty much the same thing, but it's it's a staircase like this, where you can go up or go down like that. So I think that uh, that it's really cool that you can do this now. You, you could always do this with... Um, games like Portal that are designed to have non-Euclidean geometry, but with Minecraft, it's um 
It's definitely something out of the ordinary from what we've had in the past. So th these are just two examples of really easy or really simple non-Euclidean geometry things. In Minecraft, I will pause the game and I will come back. I'm sorry, pause the recording, and when I come back, I will show you a more complicated one. So this is, um, oops, I'm sorry, I don't think you could hear me. What I meant to say is, all right, this is a, uh, a more complicated non-Euclidean geometry thing. So you can see we've got four, like, shoots to fall down. So we can choose any one of these, like, if we choose this one, and we fall down here, and you can just keep on falling, and you can go down any one of them. And as you can see, because I'm, I've, uh, the teleportation is rotating me, it looks a bit weird, and sometimes it glitches out when you're, uh, when you're falling. And you can, you can also go up, too, so if I fly up here, you can, uh, you can see we're back over here. But this is just another example of a, of a non-Euclidean geometry. This one is a bit more complicated, and what this looks like from the outside is this scariness. Ignore this right now. And as you can see, here's another one of the, uh, the constantly setting redstone and black things that's powering all of these. And what these are doing is whenever I go down, see these are the shoots on the outside. Whenever I go down one of these, it's teleporting me back up to this one. But there are three different spaces for me to go down, as you can see. Oops, I broke some of the vines. Let me go in and fix that. All right, let's get the vine. So as you can see, there are three different spaces. And if I go down any one of them, I still want to be teleported. And so that's why you need 12 command blocks. You see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then these three command blocks up here are if I ever go back up the chute that I fell down from, I want it to teleport me back over here, actually. So see, as I go up here, it'll do that. And again, like last time, we've got like decoy rooms. Like if, if we go to all the way down here without teleporting, you'll see this kind of weird thing. But this is just so that when I'm, when I'm up here and I'm, oops, and I'm looking down, whoa. Yeah, it's not very, it's not completely smooth. But as I'm looking down, I can still, it, it still looks like it's this room, even though it's all the, all uh, this stuff. So now, so I don't even know what I just said. I meant to say, so now I'm going to show you this example. And as you can see, this is a bit more complicated too. And I have not completely gotten this to work yet. Oops. So this one has two different ones. So if you go over here, and this might not work at all. Sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, no, it did work. But you can see it teleports you back here, and you can go this way. Oh, this is amazing, it's working. This is the one that's usually been uh, glitching out the most. Let me see if I run if that glitches it out. Nope, that's amazing. Oh, see, there it goes. Did you see how it was flashing? That was, it was constantly teleporting me back and forth between them. But I'm not sure why that doesn't work completely um, perfectly yet, or even uh, better. But uh, I bet it's just a bug and it will be fixed in the official release of 1.8. So over here, as you can see, we've got this staircase and this staircase. Then we've got two options. So suppose we go down the right one. Oh, that's a weird, that's a lighting glitch. And then we're back down here. So then we can go down the left one. That's a weird lighting glitch right there. And we're back down here. So this works the same way as all the other ones where you get down here, and then it teleports you. And these are decoy rooms, as I showed you with the last one, so that when you're standing up here, you want it to look like you are already teleported when you're not. So I think now, yeah, now I am, but when I go down here and I fall, I am not. And then I go over here, and as you saw, my arm glitched. Now I am. So yeah, I think that is it. Um, I, I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope that uh, it interested you. It, it, uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to talk about this. This is the same thing as over here, but it's just I've got four command blocks over here now. And this is the uh, set block air, and this is the set block uh, redstone block. 
Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something. And I hope if you didn't know about non-Euclidean geometry, that uh, that now you know something. And of course, this isn't actually non-Euclidean geometry. Actual non-Euclidean geometry requires bending around a uh, a third dimension. I'm sorry, a fourth dimension. But this just gives the appearance of it, and that's how they do it in video games like Portal. Is they they give a little copy, or what I've been calling a decoy room when you are. Uh, when you look through the portal, but when you step through the portal, or sorry, when you step through the portal, it uh, it actually teleports you. So thank you for watching.